Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dina for new here. Hi. How are you? How are you guys having it? <laughs> what up, world? We are tuning into South Park, not known as South Park, which is in the park. It's not in the park. Is it in the South? S Wait, where are they at? I forgot. Is it Colorado? I think they're I think no. so. I think they're, no. Yeah, I think they're in Colorado. I forgot. South Park, South Park. Dang it. Hey, Siri. Thank you. Bye. What the hell are you so happy about that? Oh, nothing. No big deal, really. Well, because unlike you guys, I just got my first pubes. What did he get last time? Did he thought he was a man? What were they doing? I don't know. I mean... The club? The club? I was talking about the club. The club I mean, they was trying to kiss baby, you know. I forgot what it was. Pubes? It wasn't. It, I forgot what he said he was growing for last So time. do guys get just one pube at a time? No. Oh. At least I didn't. <laughs> I'm see. becoming a He's man. Say He's lying. You want to see him? Hell no. <laughs> ha! What are those? My pubes. He let me have them for just 10 bucks. <laughs> I got pubes for you guys, Dave. No! So Carmen has someone else's pubes. Yeah, they and he put them on his... That is so nasty. For $10, you got ripped off, Carmen. Carmen. nasty. Carmen. You could have just got some out of your head and put them down there. You don't pay someone $10 for, oh my God. This doesn't mean we can't still hang out. It just means that I matured faster than you. When you get old enough, you grow your They're own right pubic hair that's attached to you, you dumbass. <laughs> You're telling me these pubes are worth nothing. Yeah. Oh, well, speak man. of the devil, what do you want? Uh, yes, I've come to return these pubes that I purchased. But you can either give me back my $10, or I can go tell my mom on you. Just give me back my money. Fire beware, dude. Give me so, my $10, Scott. from what I'm looking at is the carpet doesn't match the drape. It don't. It don't? I thought it always did. You know what's crazy? What did I he buy from me? This whole episode make me think back of everything. He bought something from him before, too, like a dummy. And I'm just saying I thought the carpet matched the drapes. I don't think, it I, I don't think in every case. Hello, sir. My name is Chris Christopherson. Oh. I'm with the IRS. You glued my pubes onto your face. You know what? How much did I charge? Uh, oh, yeah. Ten dollars. You got changed for a 20? Here. Just give me the six dollars. No. And then I'll give it. you the 20. Okay. And then give me the 20, and I'll give you the pubes. Sweet. <laughs> on Jackass. I know. When he glued the pubes on the guy's mouth. That is gross. That's disgusting. You know what? And he just got... Gypped again. I want to get him. Carmen, can I give you some advice? What? Just let it go, dude. He is not smarter than me. He just charmed me, that's all. He's a charmer, that's got gentlemen. But I One, please. You don't have enough. One, please. <laughs> we don't take pubes. Listen, my money is as good as anybody's. Don't you face it. He back again. You got to go manners? check it out. I'll watch your house for you. Okay, I'll buy the pubes back. Here. The pube fair in Fort Collins. Pube fair? They're paying five bucks a hair for pubes. Here, take your money. <laughs> I don't think so, Scott. <laughs> I'm going to Fort Collins myself. <laughs> what a stupid asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell me where the pube fair is? The pube fair? Yeah, I've got some pubes to sell. I'm Eric Cartman. Oh, I think this is for you. I had to ride 106 miles in the back of a pickup truck to get back here. Wow, you're not as stupid as I thought. Yeah, I'll see you around. Is it gonna work? Is it gonna yeah, work? Yeah, my grandma's in the hospital. She's very sick. Oh, jeez, I, I didn't realize that. Yeah, poor grandma. Just one thing before I give it to you. What? I just, well. Why? Do you want your grandma to live or not? Mm. Please, God, give me my money. I beg you to give me back my you money. Just now say, I'm a little piggy. Oink, oink, oink. Oink, oink, oink. Now dance, little All piggy. Oink, 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 oink. <laughs> I mean, what can you buy with $16? My parents give me a $50 a week allowance. This pittance means nothing to me. No. Why? Now you can't bug me for your dumb money. Cartman should have never been involved in this again. Why he Cartman, keep going back to this dude? He needed $16. He wanted his money. You know what I thought about when they went to the movies, they never came back out for Cartman. Everybody else paid and went in and just left. They didn't even ask. Him. I Cartman. know. That's, what, That's what he get for buying some pubes. <laughs> <laughs> Deeply troubled and want to find a quick and painful way to get rid of Scott Tenorman. Scott Tenorman is an eighth grader who sold Cartman his pubes for $10. Mm -hmm. and now Cartman's all pissed off. Mm -hmm. well, what are you gonna do? Did you guys see that movie Hannibal? Where the deformed guy trained mm -hmm. giant pigs? Scott Tenorman will forever be known as the kid who had his wiener bitten off by a pony. Why should we care, indeed? Let's just let Scott Tenorman walk away with my $16.12. This one day where you could have made a difference. 
Well, you could have told Scott Tinnerman you may take our prize. Timmy, I! Oh! This Timmy's face. Right. All right, I guess it's just you and me, Timmy. Come on, pony. Bad the wiener. Bad it. <laughs> Eric, are you training that pony to please you? No, I'm trying to teach it how to bite someone's oh. penis off. I didn't expect the pony to do any of those those actions. That's probably why the guy shoots them on sight, because he knows what the, his horse is capable of, or his he pony. Yeah, doing stuff mm -hmm. with them ponies. That is disgusting. That is nasty. Why the hell are you training Duncan's pony to bite off someone's penis? Because, look, if you want to get revenge on somebody, you've got to think like a hunter. How do I do that? It's still going. What do you see? I see Scott Tenerman. With his ginger red hair and his stupid freckles and his posters. Radiohead posters. And he's reading a magazine about Radiohead. I'm a winner. What am I doing here? Uh, well, what? I'm looking in Scott's parents' room. Scott's mom's about to take off her bra. What? Dear God, they're even bigger than I ever imagined. Let me see. Let me see. Hey, stop it! Oh, my gosh. Hey, what the hell are you doing? You know who you are, and I'm calling the police. Oh! oh, I gotta, I gotta get out oh! oh. Was doing that on purpose. Yeah, everybody know she got the whole block. She out had there. she had a time set schedule. You for shouldn't them. be out there with your windows open anyway, Nikki. Do you like the band uh, Radiohead at all? Uh huh. Oh really? Okay, well it looks like everyone up, is really? here. Let's play the video. Guys, when is your next album coming out? That's an interesting question, Kurt. I hate Scott Tenneman too. I think all the guys in the band hate him, right, guys? Oh, Kurt, uh, Scott Tenneman is totally not cool. He's not cool. Wow, that really sucks. You know what? That wasn't really Radiohead talking. I just dubbed their voices over. Boys and girls, it's time for the amazing Cube Boy. Oh. <laughs> you know what? I kind of feel bad for Carmen, then I don't. Because Carmen has done a lot of dirt in his life. It's just spinning in the background. Carmen's just coming back. He's done a lot of dirt. Don't try to get him benefit of the doubt. He I'm has done a lot of all dirt. this for some pubes? He's pubes done a lot of please. dirt. Or $16.12? A pubes. Kenny's gonna die of laughter. Oh my god, he killed Kenny. I told you! I said as he's gonna die of laughter, and he hey, did! It was a joyful night. Uh, I can take this death. It's a joyful one. Wow. He, he died laughing. He... We'll see how cool you feel after this. Yes. It is the most genius plan ever. Scott Tenement is going to wish he never met me. I've got it all figured out. Got what all figured out? How to get Scott Tenement back. And if you'll help me, I'll give each of you two dollars. Okay, so I realized. What if we got Radiohead to come here to South Park, right? If I can get this pony to bite off Scott's wiener in front of Radiohead, then Scott would cry. <laughs> okay, I'll keep working on the pony. You guys oh go get Radiohead God. to play here. here. We go with Ready? The pony again. Right. The Ready, pony, pony? Bite it. Yes! Dear Radiohead, my name is Eric Cartman. I'm a young, supple eight year old boy. Scott is 15, and I'm afraid he has cancer. If you could find it in your hearts to visit him before he dies alone, scared. We have to go to Colorado, but we've got an album to mix. Didn't you hear the letter? There. We just want to warn you, Eric Carmen, the fourth grader, is going to try to trick you somehow. Why are you telling me? Because we hate him. Oh. Well, we just thought we'd let you know. See ya. Everyone's coming, and I wanted to drop by your invitation personally. But it's gonna mess him up. Penny red. What more could I want? A little penis Radio bag. Head. What? Nothing, nothing. Oh, you are good, Eric. Because yeah. Scott got that call, he's not going to show up, but Radiohead is literally going to be there, so yeah. it's going to make him emotional because he missed Radiohead. That too. Told me that there's a starving pony at Dinkins Ranch that's been abandoned. Mm. Oh, dear. Well, don't you worry, Scott. Your mom and I can go get the pony and have it taken to an animal to shelter. I'm so proud of you. I'm proud of you too, Mom. Let's go, hon. There's pubes from just about every kid in town <laughs> in here. Gross. Awesome. Oh, dude! Oh, hello, guys! Thanks for coming to my chili con carnival! This is the dumbest thing you've ever done. What's so funny? Oh, nothing. It's just cool how you're gonna get Scott Tennerman back. How are you, Scott? Hello. Thanks so no, much no, for coming! No, no. Just a second. Don't you want to taste my chili first? Well, yeah, but there's a special guest coming in. All right, Scott. Uh, let's go over to the judging table and we'll try the chili first. Here's mine. Mmm. I don't know. Your chili is good, Cartman, but I have something to tell you. What? You mean about how you put pubes in your chili? I switched it with Chef. It's delicious, Chef. I hadn't planned on that. I assumed that they would tell you that I had trained Dinkins' pony to bite off your wiener. Knowing that you would go and try to do something to the pony, I warned Mr. Dinkins I'm afraid that when Mr. Dinkins spotted them on his property, he shot and killed both. Well, I have my rights. My mom and dad are dead? After a night with the hacksaw, I was all ready to put on my chili gun carnival. There ain't no way.
he better not have ate that. That's no, man. That is not his parents that he dark. just ate. <clears throat> this is getting dark. No. Carmen better not have fed him his parents. <clears throat> oh my <throat> god, no way. There's no way. You like it, Scott? I call it Mr. and Mrs. Tenement Chili. There. Oh, oh my god. god! <laughs> No! 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 Uh, excuse me. No, everyone has problems. It doesn't mean you have to be a little crybaby about it. Come on, guys. Let no! Wait! Wait! Oh my god! Mm, your tears are so Carmen! <laughs> oh my god, this is not real. I'm not believing it. I'm not believing it. <laughs> Don't taste them. Let me oh taste my them. god. <laughs> No, I'm not believing this. I'm not. Wilbert, I'm not. This is probably the most darkest episode I've ever heard. I knew Cartman was like, you know, bad and mean and all that, but geez Louise, Cartman. I thought he swapped the chili for the pubes. I don't know. He really went in and freaking killed his parents. He had a whole plan out, like a cold murder mystery plan. He outsmarted them all. In a horrendous So is he going to jail for murder? He, in South Park. I'm just know. saying. He not, just admitted. He just admitted to all that. So is he going to jail for murder? Not in South Park. I'm just saying. I'm not in South This episode saying. takes the hat like this is yeah, the craziest I we don't ever know seen what the french we toast. saw some crazy stuff over here but that's crazy I, I was really claiming that it was fake i was like no they're gonna it's like in his mind he's dreaming it whatever wow that's if there's a background to this episode please let us know down below in the comment section because zim 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 that was i don't even know what to say i wish i had a mini violin so i could be like But still, that's that's that that that's disrespectful. This is a lot to take. Jaw dropping, mind blowing. Until the next one, y'all. Until the next one. Don't forget, I do have a Patreon with full episodes. If you guys want to watch it.